Stability Diffusion 3 is out. And according to the release, they supposed to be one of the best. Great details, high resolution. Um, and some people say it's better than Mid Journey. So let's go ahead and put in a test. But first, let's check out how it's working and why it's better. So right here, you have some samples of rendering. By the way, obviously, they select what rendering they're going to put here. What I recommend for you to do is just check some of the papers with the release if you want to be sure, know what model it was created on. Or you can go on top, right above, right there. You can see Stable Diffusion Medium Weights now available on Hugging Face. So let's click Download. This one will take you to the huggingface.co website for the Stable Diffusion. Of course, we have a model card, explanation how it's work, and as well, we have a file in versions. Let's scroll down and see. Right here, we have our examples, and of course, our model. And by the way, this is model is trained on a wider 16-bit, 1024 by 1024 resolution. So it is bigger, supposed to be better, more details work with this, and faster with the uh, uh, T3, I think, T5, okay, so it's have it transformer T5. T5 XSL is supposed to be work faster, more accurate. As well, some models was including clip inside, it's for the language translation, or you can download it separate. Well, we'll look on this. Okay, let's look down right here. We have it our additional stable diffusion workflow for Comfy UI. Stable Swarm and that one. So we'll probably go check with Comfy UI. It seems like most easiest one to use it. And as well, let's have a file structure for our JSON. This is our examples. We have our clip and T5 transformers here. They're going to encoder in a clip. Or we also have our safe sensors. And we'll see which one you should use it. Okay. Let's look at this way. We have it for safe sensors but we will download them in a second um first one it is the like super light version if you want it to integrate with your own workflow with your own transformers with your own clip another thing so that is just this the model as well clip with a t5 it is contains all weights with a um fp16 fluent point 16 versions and included uh t5 XSL uh, text encoder. So the next we have an 8 bit floating. Also, we have it one with the clip uh, safe. So it a little bit lighter version. It does not um, include the transcoder, nothing. But generally, what I will say, um, you probably won't use it this as a best quality with T16 when we use this model. If you want everything together, everything optimized in one. If you want a little bit more for resource safe, for the safe, then you want to use it one with clip. And if you want to modify by yourself, create your own clip, then you jump to this. This is probably the smallest, fast. And for me, I'm probably going to utilize the biggest model. I have enough computing power and everything. So we'll go use it this one also. Below we have it more samples if you want to build your diffusers and all additional information. By the way, this is a release for non-commercial use. Elevation, uh, evaluations, just check all this stuff. If you want to get for the commercials, then you actually need to go back on Stable Diffusion and sign up here with the platform and other things. Well, to get access to our file inversions, if you even click or before, you'll notice right here, you need to fill up your information. So you fill up your name, email, country, select an option. So it is this way. We'll go to USA right here. Affiliations that is a uh, require. And I'm just says you get play studio. And if you want to receive email notifications and you need acknowledge if the model for non-commercial use. After you complete it, click OK. And now we access to this model. So right here, you can see those 
the weights, those models, we have it here, which is going inside the model directory. And we also have it in text encoders. We have it our clip, which will need go inside your clip or text encoders the directory. So those ones we need downloaded. I'm going to download all of them. And you can see they're quite a bit large size. The biggest one is almost 16 gigabytes. So it's quite a bit large size. So let's go ahead and download them. And by the way, if you interested, I'm using stability matrix, but matrix, it will be same for other ones. And it will be located model stable diffusion. So we'll just go ahead and save in there. This is first and we'll go and downloading all other after you downloaded those components, you want to download the examples if you're going to work with Conf UI. So in directory, Conf UI example, you'll find workflows in JSON file. Just download them in the any folder where you're going to retrieve. I'll just go and put it in my um, kind of test folder. If you look on uh, what platforms or with what packaging stable diffusion work, you'll notice it does work with ConfUI, uh, Swarm UI and other ones. However, it does not work with yet with Aftermatic 11.11, at least from these installations. And we're going to use it ConfUI. If you don't have it ConfUI installed on your machine, let me show you how we can do this. First, you want to go to ConfUI a repository on a GitHub links is down below. Then you scroll all the way down where it says install Conf UI. And below in installations, I'm using Windows on my platform. I want to click on direct download. It will download it as zip file, but it is um, 7-zip. So if you don't have it, you can click and install the extractor here. Otherwise, you want to install the download files and just open the archive. As you open, you'll notice it's have a Conf UI Windows portable directory. We just need to take this directory and copy in a place where you want to run. The nice things about Windows portable, it's meaning this directory can move around, which is very useful if you change uh, locations for your files. When you extract this in directory, I recommend for you to open the readme because it will go over some information tell you, but generally what we want to do if you have it first time installations, you want to be sure you have the latest version of the Python and PIP and other applications support libraries is installed. So for this, I recommend to go in update and run update comp UI and Python dependency. This will take a long time because we'll download all necessary and they will download locally in this subdirector, which is kind of nice because we'll be a little bit independent. It will take a little bit time to run this. So be sure you have it, some fun stuff to do while you're waiting. Well, in my case, it took just a few minutes because I already have some stuff installed. And if you do, you may don't need it run those updates. So after when you're done with this, you want to be sure that you do have it inside your Conf UI models, checkpoints. You have it your checkpoints that we just downloaded. And inside the clip, you have it your clip library. After this, we can go back to top Conf UI portable and run NVIDIA GPU. It's what I'm running on. NVIDIA. If you have um, just the Intel or AMD, then I will recommend run just CPU. So let's go ahead and run our patch file. When you run the Conf UI for first time, you'll notice you'll have it your kind of navigation box. It's missing one option that we actually want to use it. It's a manager. So let's go ahead and install that. To install the manager, UI manager, we want to go in the directory where we install Conf UI. Going down to custom nodes, click on this. Now in the path on the top, just type CMG. It's open for us command prompt in a directory where we're currently allocated. After this, you want to copy and paste this command that will be down below in descriptions. Let go git clone and Conf UI message. So let's go ahead. As you noticed, download it. It is all. It's installed. 
messenger for us now we can close it this and we want to be sure we restarting our server so i'm going to close this windows with server going back on the top again and run nvidia now when we restart it you'll notice we have it down below manager let's click on the manager here's the windows which is help us to upload it nodes, custom nodes that we're going to probably miss when we start using workflow with Stable Diffusion 3. Also, this is nice verification ways tell you what is version and you can see this is current installation on Comfy UI support SDA3 Stable Diffusion 3. This is actually important. And if you have it early versions, you open, you'll notice your Stable Diffusion, your Comfy UI outdated please update or reinstall. You also can do these updates later from this manager windows right there where it says update comfy UI or update all, it's include all libraries and other elements. Previously, we did download some of three workflows as an example. So let's go ahead and take one of them and we'll go with the example basic drag and drop on middle of the screen. And you can see right here we have it our workflow because it's updated outdated uh, uh, updated version I actually see we're good on the node so we have it all custom nodes already here which which is very very nice if for some reason some of them turn red and says missing then you want to go inside your manager and install missing custom nodes on this button then it will go find and download it, those nodes as we need it. Well, right here we have it all pre-default. What I'm going to do is just go and says Q. And you notice I have an error come up from this. It says there's no checkpoint find. So depending on location, maybe it's looking different place. We always can click down and select one that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and use it 16 bit, which is one we want it and let's click on again now after we select it you can see it's preloading the model turning green because it's quite a bit large checkpoint first time when it's loading it could take a little bit time however when we're going to do second time the model already will be or checkpoint or you load it in our memory so it shouldn't take as long as it will take first time and you can see it's done. It's actually created a very stunning, very good image. Again, it's a resolution 1024 by 1024. It's what the model train on. Of course, we're going to dive in more exploration with new Stable Diffusion 3. So be sure you stay tuned, subscribe, give it a like, share this video if you like it. And I hope you have a fun time discovering this. Let me know if you have any questions. See you. Bye.